हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज फ्लो चार्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दी ऑलगरिदम नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज अ फ्लो चार्ट अ फ्लो चार्ट इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑलगरिदम सो व्हाट एवर द ऑलगरिदम वी हैव टेकन फॉर दैट ऑलगरिदम दिस इज अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फ्लो चार्ट इज अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन of our algorithm so algorithm is a step by step procedure so for that step by step procedure we are representing in a graphical format that you call it as a flow chart so this graphical representation of our algorithm often used often used in the design phase of programming so here i am writing the definition so just see here so often used in the design phase of programming to work out to work out the logical flow of program logical flow of program so that is the definition of the flow chart a flow chart is a graphical representation of our algorithm often used in the design phase of programming to work out the logical flow of program so let us see what are the features of this using this uh, flow chart so why we are using this flow chart a flow chart will uh, the usual way to represent the information flow for, for that we use the flow chart and it also make our logic more clear okay next it help during writing of program the flow chart is helpful for uh, when you are writing of program this flow chart is very useful let me write it help during writing of programs and it also make testing and debugging easy this flow chart is very helpful for uh, to make testing and debugging will become easy and uh, some more advantages or it is a best way it is the best way of representation this is the best way of representing sequence of steps sequence of steps in an algorithm so if you take a sequence of steps in an algorithm that can be represented in the visual representation graphical representation so for that it is the best the flow chart is the best way of representing sequence of steps in an algorithm and also it uh, various symbols will be used here various symbols or used for representing different operations to write a flow chart you need some symbols so those symbols will represent uh, uh, different operations so let us see what are the symbols that are used in the flow chart so here you can see uh, the symbols that are used in the flow chart so different symbols that will be used uh, the first one here i have taken as a terminal terminal will be represented in the form of oval shape so this is a oval shape so for what we are using this uh, terminal symbol what operation it performs so whatever we are we have if you want to start the program or if you want to stop the program for beginning and end we will use the oval symbol this oval symbol we call it as a terminal next for input output operations the symbols used for input output operations are parallelogram so this parallelogram is used for to store the input values and the output values so input output of data will be stored in parallelogram next is the process means to do the operation to do operations it requires rectangle so the purpose of using this rectangle is any processing to be performed can be represented 
means some calculations some operations has to be performed that will be done in this rectangle symbol for decision decision means if you want to take the decision means the while uh, while loop for loop okay if conditions so for this we will go for the decision box decision box is represented in the form of diamond symbol here the decision operation that determines which of the alternative part to be followed means whether you have to follow the right side or left side yes or no for that conditions we will go for the diamond symbol next symbol is connector connector is represented for as circle the circle is used to connect different parts of flow chart so to connect to different parts we will use the circle connector next for flow for flowing we will use the arrows why we what is the purpose of using arrows it joins two symbols and also represents flow of execution so the arrows always represents the flow of execution and also it joins the two symbols if you want to join two symbols rectangle or diamond or parallelogram rectangle or oval so for everything you need arrows to join two symbols at the same uh, these symbol uh, arrows will represents the flow of execution from here to here here to here here to here like that flow of execution will be indicated with arrows symbol now coming to the next predefined process the predefined process means uh, it is a rectangle but double sided it represented like this so what we write here inside the modules or subroutines specified elsewhere so for those statements we will represent this double sided rectangle next page connector the page connector is represented in the form of pentagon so this is represented in the form of pentagon the purpose of using the page connector is use it to connect flow chart in two different pages suppose if you if uh, in one page one flow chart will be there if you want to continue that flow chart you have to use a page connector that is a pentagon pentagon use it to connect flow chart in two different pages next for loop symbol so for loop is hexagon so in the previous i had said a uh, decision is used for the diamond shape if condition while condition that will go for the decision and coming to the for loop for loop will be go uh, use the hexagon it shows initialization conditions and incrementation of loop variables so for this purpose we will go for the hexagon next is document symbol the document symbol is represented like this so this is a printout you call this symbol as a printout the use of this printout is to show the data that is read ready uh, for printout so after the completion of the program if you want to take the output the result in the documentation format you have to go for this symbol this symbol indicates it shows the data that is ready for printout so these are the different symbols that are used for um, while writing the flow chart let us take one example to represent the flow chart so here i am taking one example so that example is uh, let me write that example example is here the flow chart for finding the same problem i am taking so whatever the problem that i have taken for the algorithm so the same example i am writing for the flow chart flow chart for finding the average three numbers average of three numbers so first you have to take the start so after start you had to for start we will take only uh, this oval symbol for input and output operations we have to take the parallelogram so that i already said so the input values you have to enter in the parallelogram read three numbers a comma b comma c 
so after that you have to compute compute means processing for processing the data you have to take the rectangle so process means the compute sum a plus b plus c so you have to find out the average for this number so again that is a process means the calculation you have to take the rectangle so compute average sum by 3 so a plus b plus c value will be stored in the sum now sum by 3 you will get the average so after finding out the average you have to print that value means the output for input and output you have to take the parallelogram so again take the parallelogram and here you have to print you have to write print average value then stop for start and stop you have to uh, write the symbol over so for connecting for connecting these uh, symbols you need arrows arrows indicates the flow of execution of the program so first from start arrows indicates the flow of execution from here to here here to here like this and it is used to connect the two symbols so this is how to write the flow chart for an algorithm so here i have taken an hour to find out the average of three numbers first you have to start after that you have to give the input values after that you have to do the process process means calculations and here also for process you have to take the rectangle after that this is the output value that will be print and this is the stop so this is about the flowchart thank you